The first time I came to America was 2008 with another French fighter called John Franz Swalinoga. We stayed a week and we trained at Extreme Couture. I wanted to know if I could train with the best American fighters. I enjoyed the week I spent at Vegas, but I returned to France for the remainder of the year on through 2009. In 2009, I received the opportunity to come to America. In his opinion, I was a talented fighter, so he asked me to come to Las Vegas to train. I got to America in June and got right to training, and I met Matt Stanzer, who became my manager. And I received a contract with WEC. And since June, I've trained in America full-time with Tim Tompkins. I started practicing MMA after I watched my first UFC fight. I was really impressed by the Gracie family. I started off with jiu-jitsu. I liked the idea that a smaller guy had a good chance to win the fight. The sport of MMA kept evolving and turned into a legitimate sport, so I changed my focus to MMA and not just on jiu-jitsu. In France, right now, MMA is illegal, so it's difficult to train. There's only boxing clubs, wrestling clubs, and judo clubs, but nothing that combines everything together. And that's the huge difference between France and America. In France, you would never find a gym like Extreme Couture. As a French fighter, I try to do my best every day, try to train everywhere, and try to find a fight. But it's very difficult. France calls this street fighting. We're athletes, just like in any other sport. I watched some footage on my opponent. He has a good record, and I believe he only lost once. He also seems to be a good wrestler. I'm going to try to use my wrestling to get him on the ground and do some ground and pound, but I don't know. Fight is a fight, but we have a good game plan, and I'm ready.